no one knows exactly how the universe began. Some theorize that a catastrophic cosmic explosion sent the infinite worlds spinning out into the vastness of the great dark worlds that would one day bear life forms of wondrous and terrible diversity. Others believe that the universe was created as a whole by a single all-powerful entity. Though the exact origins of the chaotic universe remain unclear and uncertain, it is clear that a race of powerful beings arose to bring stability to the various worlds and ensure a safe future for the beings that would follow in their footsteps. The Titans, colossal, metallic skinned gods from the far reaches of the cosmos, explored the newborn universe and set to work on the worlds they encountered. They shaped the worlds by raising mighty mountains and dredging out vast seas. They breathed skies and raging atmospheres into being. It was all part of their unfathomable, far sighted plan to create order out of chaos. They even empowered primitive races to tend to their works and maintain the integrity of their respective worlds. Ruled by an elite sect known as the Pantheon, the Titans brought order to a hundred million worlds scattered throughout the great dark beyond during the first ages of creation. The benevolent Pantheon, which sought to safeguard these structured worlds, was ever vigilant against the threat of attack from vile extra-dimensional entities of the Twisting Nether. The Nether, an ethereal dimension of chaotic magics that connected the myriad of worlds of the universe, was home to an infinite number of malefic, demonic beings who sought only to destroy life and devour the energies of the living universe. Unable to conceive of evil or wickedness in any form, the Titans struggle to find a way to end the demons' constant threat. Over time, demonic entities made their way into the Titans' worlds. From the Twisting Nether and the Pantheon, elected its greatest warrior, Sargeras, to act as its first line of defense. A noble giant of molten bronze, Sargeras carried out his duties for countless millennia seeking out and destroying these demons wherever he could find them. Although Sargeras's nearly limitless powers made short work of the shambling demons he found throughout the great dark, he was greatly troubled by the creatures' corruption and all-consuming evil. Incapable of fathoming such depravity, the great titan began to slip into a brooding depression. Despite his growing unease, Sargeras rid the universe of demonic entities by trapping them within a corner of the Twisting Nether. While his confusion and misery deepened, Sargeras was forced to contend with a particular insidious group intent on disrupting the titans' order. The Nothrazim, this dark race of vampiric demons, also known as the Dreadlords, conquered a number of populated worlds by possessing their inhabitants and turning them to the shadow. The nefarious, scheming Dreadlords turned whole nations against one another by manipulating them into unthinking hatred and mistrust. Sargeras defeated the Nothrazim easily, but their corruption affected him deeply. As doubt and despair overwhelmed Sargeras' senses, he lost all faith, not only in his mission, but also in the Titan's vision of an ordered universe. Eventually, he came to believe that the concept of order itself was folly, and that chaos and depravity were the only absolutes within the dark, lonely universe. His fellow titans tried to persuade him of his error and calm his raging emotions, but he disregarded their more optimistic beliefs as self-serving delusions. 
Storming from their ranks forever, Sargeras set out to find his own place in the universe, although the Pantheon were sorrowful at his departure. The Titan could never have predicted just how far their lost brother would go. By the time Sargeras' madness had consumed the last vestiges of his valiant spirit, he believed that the Titans themselves were responsible for creation's failure. Deciding at last to undo their works throughout the universe, he resolved to form an unstoppable army that would set the physical universe aflame. Even Sargeras' titanic form became distorted from the corruption that plagued his once noble heart. His eyes, hair, and beard erupted in fire, and his metallic bronze skin split open to reveal an endless furnace of blistering hate. In his fury, Sargeras shattered the presence he created and set the loathsome demons free. These cunning creatures bowed before the dark titan's vast rage and offered to serve him in whatever malicious ways they could. Seeking a way to lead and control his vast demonic army, Sargeras recruited and subsequently corrupted the ancient and intelligent race of the Aradar. From within their ranks, Sargeras picked two champions to command his demonic army of destruction. Kill Jaden, the deceiver, was chosen to seek out the darkest races in the universe and recruit them into Sargeras' ranks. The second champion, Archimonde, the defiler, was chosen to lead Sargeras' vast armies into battle against any who might resist the Titan's will. Kill Jaden's first move was to enslave the vampiric dreadlords under his terrible power. The dreadlords served as his personal agents throughout the universe, and they took pleasure in locating primitive races for their master to corrupt and bring into the fold. First amongst the dreadlords was Tychondrius, the Darkener. Tychondrius served Kill Jaden as the perfect soldier and agreed to bring Sargeras' burning will to all the dark corners of the universe. The mighty Archimonde also empowered agents of his own, calling upon the malefic pit lords and their barbarous leader, Manaruth the Destructor. Archimonde hoped to establish a fighting elite that would scour creation of all life. Once Sargeras saw that his armies were amassed and ready to follow his every command, he launched his raging forces into the vastness of the Great Dark. He referred to his growing army as the Burning Legion. To this date, it is still unclear how many worlds they consumed and burned on their unholy burning crusade across the universe. Unaware of Sargeras' mission, to undo their countless worlds, the Titans continued to move from world to world, shaping and ordering each planet as they saw fit. Along their journey, they happened upon a small world that its inhabitants would later name Azeroth. As the Titans made their way across the primordial landscape, they encountered a number of hostile elemental beings. These elementals who worshipped a race of unfathomably evil beings known only as the Old Gods, vowed to drive the Titans back and keep their world involatile from the invader's metallic touch. The Pantheon, disturbed by the Old Gods' penchant for evil, waged war upon the Elementals and their Dark Masters, the Old Gods' armies were led by the most powerful elemental lieutenants, Ragnaros, the Fire Lord, Therizane, the Stone Mother, Al-Akir, the Wind Lord, and Neptuon, the Tide Hunter. Their chaotic forces raged across the face of the world and clashed with the colossal titans. Though the elementals were powerful beyond mortal comprehension, their combined forces could not stop the mighty titans. One by one, the elemental lords fell, and their forces dispersed. The pantheon shattered the old gods' citadels 
and chain the five evil gods far beneath the surface of the world. Without the old gods' power to keep their raging spirits bound to the physical world, the elements were banished to an abyssal plane where they would contend with one another for all eternity. With the elements' departure, nature calmed and the world settled into a peaceful harmony. The Titans saw that the threat was contained and set to work. The Titans empowered a number of races to help them fashion the world. To help them carve out the fathomless caverns beneath the earth, the Titans created a dwarf-like earthen from magical living stone. To help them dredge out the seas and lift the land from the seafloor, the Titans created the immense but gentle sea giants. For many ages, the Titans moved and shaped the earth, until at last, there remained one perfect continent. At the continent's center, the Titans created a lake of scintillating energies. As twilight fell on the final day of their labors, the Titans named the continent Kalimdor the land of eternal starlight. Satisfied that the small world had been ordered and that their work was done, the Titans prepared to leave Azeroth. However, before they departed, they charged the greatest species of the world, the Dragonflights, with the task of watching over Kalimdor, lest any force should threaten its perfect tranquility. There were many Dragonflights in that age, yet there were five flights that held dominion over their brethren. It was these five flights that the Titans chose to shepherd the budding world. The greatest members of the Pantheon imbued a portion of their power upon each of the fight's leaders. These majestic dragons became known as the Great Aspects or the Dragon Aspects. Amonthul, the High Father of the Pantheon, bestowed a portion of his cosmic power upon the massive bronze dragon, Nosdormu. The High Father empowered Nosdormu to guard time itself and police the ever-spinning pathways of fate and destiny. The stoic, honorable Nosdormu became known as the Timeless One. Ianar, the titan patron of all life, gave a portion of her power to the red leviathan Alexstrasza. Even after, Alexstrasza would be known as the Lifebinder, and she would work to safeguard all living creatures within the world. Due to her supreme wisdom and limitless compassion for all living things, Alexstrasza was crowned the Dragon Queen and given dominion over her kind. Ianar also blessed Alexstrasza's younger sister, the lithe green dragon Ysera, with a portion of nature's influence. Ysera fell into an eternal trance bound to the waking dream of creation. Known as the Dreamer, she would watch over the growing wilds of the world from her verdant realm, the Emerald Dream. Norganon, the Titan lore keeper and master magician, granted the blue dragon Malagos a portion of his vast power. From then on, Malagos would be known as the Spell Weaver, the guardian of magic and hidden Arcanum. Kasgaroth, the Titan Shaper and Forger of the World, bestowed some of his vast power upon the mighty Black Rim, Neltharion. The great-hearted Neltharion, known afterwards as the Earth Warder, was given dominion over the Earth and the deep places of the world. He embodied the strength of the world and served as Alexstrasza's greatest supporter. Thus empowered, the five aspects were charged in, with the world's defense in the Titan's absence. With the dragons prepared to safeguard their creation, the titans left Azeroth behind forever. Unfortunately, it was only a matter of time before Sargeras learned of the newborn's world's existence. <laughs>